Hi guys, I'm Joanna and this is Next, a weekly vlog where I talk about singing and what's coming up next. You can catch me right here on YouTube by clicking the subscribe button or you can follow me on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Joanna Moffat Soprano, J-O-H-A-N-N-A-M-O-F-F-I-T-T Soprano or you can follow me on Twitter or on Instagram at at Joanna Moffat same spelling. It's been a long time since I made a next video. My apologies. In October, I did a concert in Buffalo. James Welch at the piano. We did the One Woman Johnny Skiki. Not only was it an excellent concert with awesome reviews, but we also raised great money for the church there in Buffalo. I feel really good about that. In November, we had the German choir come and sang with my church choir. We did the Bach cantata, Gottes Zeit is die allerbeste Zeit, the BWV 106. It was really fun. The soloists were excellent. And I got to sing a solo in church on Sunday. Shout out to Northeastern Illinois University Choir for singing with us at both concerts. I had one of the most interesting experiences. Christopher had been asking me to sing the solo really thin and pretty the whole time so I'd been practicing it in this very narrow space but then on Sunday morning when we were with the orchestra and with the bigger choir he said oh no I need you to sing louder and I was like oh god I hope I can do this so I ran downstairs ripped through the solo and just tried to make it bigger and I, I'm not sure if I did what he wanted but it felt good so I'm hoping it sounded okay <laughs> but I, I really liked it so it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever sung. On November 18th I went to my old college roommate's wedding and we got to sing some songs at the wedding. It was really fun. I chose Mahler's Liebst du um Schönheit, which is one of my favorite poems, which says, if you love beauty, don't love me. Love the sun whose hair is always golden. If you love youth, oh, don't love me. Love the springtime who is always young. If you love riches, don't love me. Love the mermaid who has millions of pearls, thousands of pearls. But you love love. Love me always. Love me forever. And I thought that that would be something that she would appreciate, uh, my friend who got married. It was really fun because, you know, being in Nashville, all of our friends from college and our friends... Uh, her, her her newer friends that she's made over the years are involved in country music as well as her brother and so it was really fun to you know be the classical singer at a at a country music concert you know it was all bluegrass and and it was really beautiful it's really fun because I got to reconnect with those friends from so long ago it was great to hear our old room, our other roommate sing with her husband it was just something really special I felt at home and remembered how much I love bluegrass and how much I love not only singing it, but like also experiencing it. And I got to hear Jenny's brother, Ashby, he's, gosh, she's such an incredible singer and a guitarist and a mandolin player. And it was cool. Their band played at the reception. So to hear them and I hope that I'll, I'll get to hear them again soon. Apparently they're coming out with a CD, so I'll make sure to tell you guys when that's coming out because it's good. Coming up next in the works, we've got some shows, hopefully, and I'm trying to put together my one-woman skiki to perform in Chicago because I've had requests for that. I've got a private concert in January for a dinner. <laughs> should be really interesting. Uh, I'm excited about that. But for now, I'm focusing on... Christmas and getting ready for that music and that should be good too. One thing I've been thinking about is how grateful I am to get to do what I do. Sometimes the the joy in it gets lost because there's so much work to do. I'm really thankful that I get to make connections with people and experience that community because without it, I don't, I don't think that there's any point to, to this life. <laughs> I'm grateful that I get to do that. And uh, I'm grateful that I get to 
spend this little bit of time with you every week. So thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. That's all for next this week. See you on Monday next.